everybody. Pockets 215 here. If you're wondering why I'm wearing these sunglasses, well, my LED flash is really, really bright, and I went blind when I made this video earlier, and I'm remaking it now. So, yeah, I know I look ridiculous. Whatever. Anyways, I'm here to talk about my reproductions of Red Army Wartime SC1 gas mask I made. Now, as far as I know, there's nobody who reproduces these or really modifies them, you know, anywhere else. So I've taken it upon myself to do so, considering a lot of people that I've found just go and grab post war masks and don't change anything to put them in the bag. Well, I'm taking it to the next step trying to trying to modify them to look nearly identical to the originals as best I can. So here's my example. I based it off of the type one SM1 gas mask. on by the cloth tape. Give it a new paint. Now this LED is making it look more green than it is, but it's not quite as green. You know, it's more of the mustard kind of green, yellowish color the Soviets used. SM1s had a lot of different colors, but the normal color was that mustard green yellow. So we painted it. The other exhale valve stuff. So, looks like the original. Then um, I've also reproduced, got my own stamps, and made the original stamps. So if you look inside there, if you can see it, there's the date stamp for 43, 1943. These masks were. Type 1 was being phased out in 43 for the Type 2, which had the metal clamp. But so this is kind of an early 43, or it could be late 42, used. Kind of, that's, that's about where I'm setting these up as. And inside, I've remade one of the other maker's stamps. I've seen on a few examples. I've also repainted the inside and tissue tubes um, on the originals are a black rubber separate, but since it's not possible to separate these tissue tubes and make new ones without completely destroying the mask, I um, just went ahead and painted them and I painted them with a special latex paint, uh, odorless, non-toxic. So it'll stay on and can move a little bit, but this area of the mask doesn't stretch very much anyway, so it should be good. But that replicates the black tissue tubes inside. Also the hose, just a black rubber hose. The wartime ones use the black rubber hose. The, the gray cloth hose was more used for pre-war and post-war. So this is correct for wartime, especially for mid-war. And the filter is the it's post-war, but it's repainted and restamped for 1943 to be the MO2 filter. The MO2 filter is the exact same except for the space here wasn't was filled in. There was no little line here, but that's very minor. And a couple of differences here, but it's still essentially the same. So it's everything. Um, same size, too. Those started coming out in late 42, early 43. So that's what, uh, replicating that. So anyways, it's got the correct date. You know, maker's mark and stuff correct paint. So 
I'm selling these as a set. Um, the hose, filter, and the mask for $65 shipped. So that's $65 with shipping included. So it's not shipping on top of the $65. Um, I accept payments through PayPal, preferably. But any other way we can discuss. Uh, there's a international. I'll have to discuss that. Due to, you know, having them probably charge more for shipping. We'll have to talk about that. And so, thank you. And those are my reproductions.